Hi everyone, my name's Jen of Habonera. Today, I want to share with you some of the basic tools and equipment and raw materials that you will need for your soap making. First, we start with the safety gear. You will need goggles, a pair of goggles to protect your eyes. And then, you will also need face mask, either washable or uh, disposable would do. You need this to protect your lungs from any fumes, from inhaling the fumes, and also for, to protect your face from accidental splashes. You'll also need gloves to protect your hands. Now for the tools, we will also need a digital weighing scale. I like the digital one because it gives a more accurate measurement in all the liquids and powders that you will need to weigh. We will also need a stick blender. I like using a stick blender. Of course, you can do away with that, but for me, for practicality, I like using it because it saves me a lot of time and I'm able to make more soaps with this stick blender. I use a stick blender with 600 watts. It's a powerful stick blender that you can actually use for, for example, four to five batches at a time. I'll show you some of my containers that I use. This one is the one I use for oils. It's plastic and it's pliable, so it's also heat resistant. This is the one that I use for my lye and water. It's also plastic. You can use either plastic or stainless steel. Some cups also, used, used cups or um, saucers or whatever that's available in your pantry that you're not using anymore. So you can use it, repurpose it. Silicone spatula for mixing. I don't normally recommend the wooden ones because they're porous and it's, uh, they're very hard to clean afterwards. Even the spoons, uh, mismatched spoons, forks, knives that you might want or you will need, for example, in your designing and measuring, you'll, you will need those. And now for the soap mold, in our classes, we normally have the wooden ones. I like the wooden ones because it's, it has a good ventilation. We pre-line it with baking sheets so it's, it doesn't stick on the inside of the wooden mold, so it's easy to unmold. There's also a grid so that it's easier to cut right after. But if you don't have a wooden mold, you can repurpose whatever's in your kitchen. For example, um, you can use old milk cartons just to um, put it. You don't need to line this anymore. So just pour your batter and it will serve its purpose as a soap mold. And that's it for the basic tools. Now we go to the basic raw materials that you will use for soap making. First is water. I like using distilled water because it has been distilled and is free from any contaminants that may ruin your soap. I also use sodium hydroxide or lye. I like the flakes form because it helps me distinguish it from salt or sugar. And you also have various kinds of oils that you can use for your soap making. Um, normally, what's available in the supermarkets, you can use like olive oil, coconut oil, canola oil. Now for the additives. First is if you want to scent your soap, you can use fragrance oil or essential oils. You can check out our website and you can see an array of fragrance oils that you can choose from in scenting your soaps. You can also use your favorite essential oils. Now for exfoliation, I'd like to also use ground oatmeal. I like to add it up a bit with some herbs that I have in my stash. So for example, this one is lavender. I put a little bit of lavender also. So it has the anti-inflammatory benefits of the lavender. You can also use your favorite, for example, calendula or that may help you, in, especially for those with um, sensitive skin. You can also use your dried coffee beans because instead of just throwing it away, you can dry it out, 
completely dry it and you can use it as an additive also that is and it's good for like anti-cellulites or it's a good also um, exfoliant and natural deodorizer and for my colors sometimes I use different clays or powders this one's indigo which gives us a nice bluish gray tint depending on how much you use this one's French pink clay which also good in detoxifying skin bentonite clay is also a nice clay that you would you can use as skin detoxifier and it also gives a nice gray color and if you want a little speckles of pink or a bit of the reddish thing um, you can also use the pink powder clay you can also have a look at the different raw materials that are available in our website so feel free to check out um, this one by the way I forgot um this one is oatmeal that I ground with calendula lavender chamomile sage and a little bit of rose powder and it's a nice combination to add in your soap so that's it i hope you learned something from this video and i look forward to making more videos for more learning to come if you want to check out our website it's habonerasoap.com and if you like the video and you might want to subscribe just press subscribe or thumbs up Thank you.